Hey guys, it's Boy 24 here, and today I got you another squad builder. Last time when we did a squad builder, it was a hybrid squad, it's costing you about 150 to 200k. Um, but today, in this squad builder, I'll be showing you a Brazilian 150 to 200k team featuring Neymar. So make sure to keep on watching this video. Make sure to like, subscribe to keep updated with my new videos. So let's begin. I'm playing a 3 5 2 formation. At the end of the video, I'll be showing you some gameplays as well. So we have Diego Alves, rated 82, plays for uh, Valencia. Obviously Brazilian, all my players are Brazilian. He's got two star weak foot and one star skill moves. Quite skillful for a goalie. As you can see on the right side, he's played 90 games, scored one, and has one yellow card. So yeah, that is a pretty, pretty good stat for a goalie. One star skill move. Woo! Stand back, boys. I uh, bought him for 1,900 coins, by the way. Let's move on to his attributes. He has 91 diving, 72 handling, 74 kicking, 90 reflexes, 57 speed, and 75 positioning. Overall, I think he's better than uh, Julio Cesar. You can tell by his diving and his reflexes. 91 diving. That is outstanding. Just for a rated 82 player. So that is pretty, pretty good. He is actually quite good at diving and reflex, but his handling is quite poor, so... When he does save it, does sometimes he does sometimes push it towards a player. But you know, he does some really good saves with his reflexes and so on. So moving on to my centre-back, I have three at-backs, I'm playing a 3-5-2. And my, one of my centre-back is Dede, rated 80, plays for Vasco in the Liga de Brazil. I bought him for 3,700 coins. Okay, so his pace 81, that is quite pacey for a centre-back. Um, I, all my centre backs, I try to make them pacey. If they're slow, they are bad. It's all about pacing in ultimate team. Defending 81, that is pretty good. Shooting 49, we don't care, he's not going to shoot. 70 passing, 67 dribbling, and 82 heading. He does score some some good goals for me in corners. You know, he gets this head on. Especially um when the opponent has a corner, he clears it away with his head too. So he's pretty good of a tank. He's quite pacey too, which helps to uh, get back the defence if a uh, player is through on goal, he'll get there. And just we'll just run him over because he's a complete tank. So um, he is that is um that he's got two star weak foot and two star skills. Boy for three thousand seven hundred coins. So moving on to my other centre back, I have Felipe Santana. He's rated seventy seven. He should be rated like eighty. He's a complete beast at centre back. He's got two star weak foot and two star skill moves. I picked him up for three thousand seven hundred coins. Obviously, there's the Schalke version, but the Schalke version is. Fairly expensive. Plays 172 games in total, 18 goals, and 16 no cards on one red card. He is a tank. He just bombards at strikers. He just knocks them, knocks them down to the floor. And uh, let's check his attributes. So he has 81 pace, 48 shooting, 52 passing, 51 dribbling, 77 defending, and 84 heading. His heading is superb. He always gets the goal. I scored a goal with him. You probably see that in the gameplay, maybe if I if I put it in or if I actually captured it. But he scores some tremendous goals from corners from his head. He also manages to clear it from if the opponent has a corner, obviously. And his pace eighty one there, he always gets back if a player's through on goal. Um moving on to my next centre back, I have Dante. I chose Dante rather than David Louise because David Louise was quite slow. Well, I think he's faster than Dante, but I prefer Dante for some reason. Dante is quite a solid defender. His pace not the best, 68 pace, but 82 defending, that is incredible for a 81 rated defender. Uh, he has 3 star skill moves and 3 star weak for that. He is quite skillful for a, uh, for a centre back. So yet again, 68 pace, 61 shooting, 74 passing, 69 dribbling, uh, 82 defending, 79 heading. So, pretty good stats there. Uh, 79 heading is alright, but it's defending 82. He's a complete tank as well. All my defenders are complete tanks. Uh, he doesn't feel like a 68 pace, to be honest. He feels like a 70, 71. Uh, so, yeah. He is a great player to have. He, he like, gets the ball back. The player, he, if he's, like, next to um, a defender or a striker, even, he'll, he'll just show a barge him and get the ball back. He'll shield the ball for you. And retain the possession. I picked him up for 2,900 coins. So that was Dante. Moving on to my CDM, Center Defensive Midfielder. 
because I am playing a 3-5-2, we have Ramirez, so let's begin. Okay, so here is Ramirez, Ramirez here, CDM, he is a Chelsea player, we all know him, known for his pace, 88 pace, I don't know why he's 88 pace, in real life he should be like 90 pace, he's really fast, he should be 90, 90 pace on FIFA, they need to get their ratings correct, uh, as again, 88 pace, 68 shooting, 79 passing, 82 dribbling, his dribbling is phenomenal uh, with his pace, uh, 76 defending, 72 heading, his heading is alright, pretty good for a CDM, uh, so yeah that is Ramirez, he plays for Chelsea in the Barclays Premier League, he is quite a well known player, picked him up for 5,500 coins, played 489 games, scored 43, 21 yellow cards and 2 red cards, so pretty good stats for a CDM getting those goals as well. So moving on to my other CDM next to Ramirez in front of the Borussia Dortmund player Felipe Santana and Dede, we have Luis Gustavo, also rated 81. Again, same as Ramirez. And for some reason, the commentaries, well, the commentators tend to call him Diaz, but in real life they call him Luis Gustavo. I don't know why, but again, let's check out his weak foot. He has a weak foot of three stars and a skill moves of three stars. Now his attributes, he's got 75 pace, 55 shooting, not as pacey as Ramirez, but still got a bit of pace for CDM. Passing, 76. Dribbling, 76 again. I thought I was getting confused with the passing. Defending, 83. Heading, 76. Got good heading there. Defending, 83. That's a beast of a stat for a CDM, even though he's not defending. He's got better stats in a defending, well, he's got a better defending stat than some centre-backs. So he is a pretty good CDM, picked him up for 2,700 coins and plays for SC Bayern in the Bundesliga. Yeah, that was Luis Gustavo, he's a pretty good player, to be honest. Quite pleased to have him in my team, he's played 34 games and scored one goal. Okay, moving on to my right mid, we have the incredible Hulk, also known as Hulk, and also known as Giovanildo Vieira de Souza. Uh, Two-star weak foot, four-star skill moves, his... He's got a rocket of a right shot. I think he's right footed, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he is. He plays in the wing at the right. And he has a rocket of a shot. Picked him up for 7,500 coins. Uh, 126 games played, 17 goals, 2 yellow cards, and 1 red card. And he's 5 foot 11. So, yeah, he has a rocket of a shot. His, his right foot is so powerful. His shots are so powerful when he takes it on the right. But anyway, let's move on to his attributes. He has 90 pace, 85 shooting, 78 passing, 82 dribbling, 60 defending, and 74 heading. Uh, his pace there, again, quite pacey for a right midfielder or anybody on the wing. If you if you play in the wing, you need to have pace. And Hulk does it. He, his strength is probably like 100 because he's a complete tank. That's why we, That's why we call him Hulk. And the Incredible Hulk. Hulk is his nickname because he is a complete tank. Um, pace, that is ni that's 90. And shooting, 85. It should be like 100. This shooting is so powerful with shots. He plays for Zenit. There's also a FC Porto version of him. But the Zenit is slightly cheaper, I think. Okay, moving on to my left mid is the superstar that we've all been looking forward to. And that is Neymar Jr. Or Neymar da Silva Santos Jr. Uh, he has 5-star skill moves, no doubt about that. 4-star weak foot, I picked him up for 100k, he is complete tank. And he's played 395 games, 119 goals and 4 yellow cards, 0 red cards so far. Uh, 91 pace, he's got quite a, big of, well, quite a bit of a pace there. 79 shooting, 74 passing and... 91 dribbling, 44 defending, and 59 heading. 91 dribbling and 91 pace. That is pretty good for a uh, left midfielder, better than Hulk. And, well, he is worth the money, to be honest. He scores some incredible goals. It probably says zero goals for me, but I don't think that has been updated. Because I have played a couple of games. And also I played the games, some games after this. This is not entirely live. And Neymar, he is worth it. If if you'd like to do skills on FIFA and you're good at it, make sure to pick up Neymar. He's only rated 85. He should be rated like 87 or something like that. There's also his Barcelona player. Well, he's, he's got 
a Barcelona card, and there's a man of match one and team of the season, if I'm correct. Okay, moving on to my cam, Lucas rated 82, there's a PSG version and a San Paolo, he has 4 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot. Okay, he's got tremendous pace, he's joint top with my uh, paciest player in my team, 92 pace there, 77 shooting, 78 passing, 88 dribbling, quite good there with the dribbling as well as his pace. Uh, defending 53, we don't expect much as a defending stat for a cam, and he has 54 heading. I picked him up for 1,800 coins. He has played 29 games and scored 11 goals. Also picked up one yellow card. He is a pretty good player. Um, I chose 3 5 2 because you get cheap players. If you get Lucas in centre midfielder, uh, I do not suggest a game in CD, uh, CM because he is like 10k to 20k. He is quite expensive for a C centre midfielder. Okay, moving on to my striker, we have Alexander Pato. We have two types of Alexander Pato. One when he played for Corinthians, the other one AC Milan. God, I've chosen Corinthians one because it kind of matches the Brazilian style. But they got the same stats: 89 pace, 78 shooting, 66 passing, 83 dribbling, 44 defending, and 77 heading. His pace doesn't feel like 89; it feels like a 91, 92 pace. He is quite fast. He's also got quite a lot of strength. He's being PK to the ball. When I played against PK, well, against PK, uh, he has dribbling of 83. He's got some good dribbling skills too. His shooting is pretty good. He's got a powerful shot, but not as powerful as my next player. And yeah, I picked him up for I think 5k. I'm not quite sure. Kind of forgot, but you've probably seen it over there. So yeah, he plays for Corinthians in the Liga de Brasil, and he is a tremendous player to have. So yeah, I picked him up for 3,800 coins, played 8 games, scored 5. That's a tremendous stat for a striker. Scored 5 goals in 8 games, that is pretty good. That is decent for a striker. And I suggest you guys pick him up too. Okay, so let's move on to our next striker then. So our next striker, we have Wellington. And Wellington rated 81, don't know why he should be rated the same as Pato 83. 4 star weak foot and 4 star skill moves, bought him for 4,500 coins, played 243 games, scored 194, or 95 sorry, and picked up 6 yellow cards, 0 red cards so far. He's got 92 pace, that is, again, he's got the same pace as Lucas, that's why I was talking about joint pace, team, or joint pace. Best pace in my team, forget what I mean, can't really pronounce that well. Uh, he's got 79 shooting, 67, 67 passing, 78 dribbling, 47 defending, and 78 heading. We don't care about that defending stat, to be honest. He's not going to defend for his life. His heading is 78, that is pretty good for a striker. He gets his uh, head onto the ball quite a lot. And his shot, I don't know why it's 79, but he has tremendous shooting. Uh, it's just... So good. He beats. Uh, he be actually um, a team of the season goalie. I think it was team of the season. Victor Valdez from like outside the box, and that was pretty spectacular. Okay, so let me just put all my uh, bench in. I just tend to put a couple of bronze. I didn't have enough coin to get loads of gold, so I just got two golds and the rest were bronze. Because I, you need subs to play a game obviously and to build that rating up. So so far it's gone to seventy six rating, four stars. Obviously, that rating will go up if you have gold in every single subs slot. But because I'm using bronze, it's only going up by a bit. So going to my final player there, placing him in my reserves. Unlucky you. Only one there in my reserves. And that, guys, was my Brazilian team rated 79. Obviously, it'll probably be about 80 to 85 rated if you change the subs. Uh, chemistry 100. We've got that Italian manager. Over there, and I'm playing a 352. This team will cost you about 100 or more than 100k because of Neymar. But you can choose Neymar instead, or you can choose Thiago Silva instead of Neymar in defense formation. So, here is some gameplays, guys. Passing the ball nicely to get onto the attack here. No, the opposition have got the ball, take the ball, and it ends with this shot. And that is, and here's a shot now. For and he headed it goalless. Sebastian Jovinko. Needs some defensive dis a good swing at that one. Here's the shot. 
And it's a header. He stopped the first shot. That position back in good numbers, but... And it goes to goal. Now the corner. That he's ever played, but that might be... Shots on here. Oh, it's in there. Well, that is a disastrous boat. He's in at goal. Here's the chance. And there it is, the goal. Is this the moment? That could open them up. Here's the shot. Good ball. It's a good ball. It could be in. Oh, he takes the shot. Oh, fantastic goal. Still more required, but they've got a foot on the recovery ladder now. Well, full marks for the way that... Good interplay. Because they've got Peggy three. Okay, that is it guys for my Brazilian squad builder. Make sure to like, maybe you can get 100 likes in this video uh, and I will do a Neymar player review. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at Dan underscore Hughes 98 and make sure to subscribe. Let's go ahead and get 3000 subscribers guys. Bye.